How's it going, people? I'm doing good. I just haven't been doing YouTube very much these days. <laughs> but since I got a burned garbage today, you know, I've been doing yard work. It's a burn day. Got a hose handy. And I figured I'd read about oh, some fiery topic. I've been finding lots of religious material these days. I've just been saving it. I don't want to read it until I have to. All right, this one is called The Roman's Road. Now, oh, it's pretty fancy. Uh, alrighty. You can see the graphics inside. Maybe you can, I don't know. I'm kind of sitting back from the camera. Just trying to make YouTube interesting again for myself. I already know it isn't interesting for anyone else, but I'm doing it because it doesn't cost nothing. And it's sort of a hobby. What is the Roman road? Simply put, the Roman's road shows the path to heaven. We're not talking about the Roman Empire, right? We're talking about, what, maybe the epistle to the Romans? Romans Road. Okay. It uses points from the Book of Romans. See, I should have just read ahead. In the Bible, to explain God's gift of salvation. At each stop, we learn something new about why we need salvation. How God has provided for it and how we receive it. Ooh, she's going all right. And the wind's throwing the ash all over me. That's fine. As you look at each of the six points outlined here, take time to reflect on what God's Word has to say. Okay. Remember that the Book of Romans was written to people just like you and me. People living in a busy culture, trying to make sense of what is true and what is most important in life. The Romans Road describes the only way to heaven. Study it, learn it, and follow it. Definitely follow it. I mean, that's what the Visigoths did, and it worked out for them. All right, and this is, uh, I guess, that Roman Road here. All right, one, everyone needs salvation. Pray tell. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's Romans 3.23. Yeah, you were, I mean, you were conceived in sin and by sin. And there's nothing twisted about that. A perfect God would, of course, make out world that's so fucked up it needs him all the time. Two, Jesus died for our salvation. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's love, man. That's fucking love. Salvation is a gift. Thank you, Jeebus. <laughs> the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal. Eternal life in Jesus Christ, no, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That's 623. Wow, that's getting hot. I guess I better use of that. All right, she's good. Four. We are saved by grace, and if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. And that's 11.6. So, was this written after James wrote his epistle where he said it isn't about faith, it's about what you do? Which I think makes more sense. But that's just me and 
What do I know? God saves all who call upon him. Unless they haven't heard of him. Then I think there's a, you know, a loophole there. Like the Eskimo said, why'd you tell me that? <laughs> all right. Who ever calls on the Lord, uh, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 10, 13. Krishna, save me. Five. Salvation comes through faith. That's just believing something, no matter what. And that's a virtue somehow. Ask any con artist. To him who believes on him who justifies the ungodly. Thank you. His faith is accounted for righteousness. People have faith in all kinds of things. You mean correct faith, not misplaced faith, and like in all those other kinds of faiths. Ah, well, um, yeah, that's it for the. That's the Roman road. Pretty underwhelming, huh? All right, let's read the back. The Bible says there are two roads in life. One is the way to eternal joy in. Unless you're in Australia, then it's, well, no, it's still there. Uh, <laughs> and the others lead to eternal punishment in hell, because you deserve to be punished for eternity, for whatever the fuck you may have done. If you didn't, you know, pull the ripcord. <laughs> Just in time. Follow the Romans' road to salvation today. Recognize that you are a sinner and that your sin must be judged by God. See that Jesus died to pay the penalty for you. Wasn't that, wasn't that sweet of him? Didn't even ask. Wasn't around to ask. <laughs> to pay the penalty for your sin but that you must choose to accept his provision. It's provisional. Understand that you cannot earn your way to heaven through good works or religious activity. Now turn to God and put your faith in Jesus Christ who died for you and rose again. If you confess with your mouth, you gotta say it out loud. Can't just think it. The Lord Jesus and believe it in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessed, confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Yeah, the, the Epistle of Romans was very useful to them. I would have called it a book of Romans. I think they call it the Epistle, but they know more than I do, don't they? So anyway, if you have questions or want to talk to somebody about what it means to follow Jesus Christ, visit seeklife.net. And remember I told you, I'm just trying to help. All right, this Moments with a Book series. And I got a whole bunch more moments. I just don't know if I feel like doing that. Anyway, I'll give you a close-up of this. And that's how they do the Roman road. Isn't that clever? Anyhow. Ugh. Hmm. Anyway, uh, chime in, please. Let me know there's somebody out there, because... I'm not really sweating uh, all the algorithms and everything, but you know, I do like to see comments once in a while, especially if they're something I can re respond to. So let me know if you learned something, if this changed your life in some way or every way. I want to know. And you know, tell me where I'm wrong or right if you want. Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't, I've never blocked anybody. 
and let people talk. Free speech and peace. Fuck out. Have wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm going to turn this chair around. Keep an eye on that fire. I got a mirror over there. I've been watching it.